All right, I'm back to work on the finest kind. She's a 47-foot Melanton-built gill netter out of Tiverton, Rhode Island. It's a boat that I've been working on over the years. I did an identical project on the starboard side of this boat just two years ago, and uh, I've got the port side opened up quite a bit here. She's blown right out. This is the area where all the butt blocks were in the boat and all the ends of the planks and the butts were very bad and I've scoffed the planks back in both directions. And we're sister framing it with high density polyethylene. It's a quite a comprehensive sistering job because these sister frames go all the way to the shear and extend well down into the builds past the floor timbers. It's not an easy project, especially the scoffing of these planks because you get to spring them down and then cut them off where you want them and scarf them with an electric plane right in position and then push them back up into place and then obviously I'm going to fit pieces that are scarfed on both ends and that'll take care of the project. All right, I just wanted to tell you a little bit more about this plastic that we're using for sister frames. We got a piece right here. Now this stuff is uh, quite flexible and uh, it does flex and, and bend a little bit more if you heat it slightly or just warm it up maybe in the sunlight, but it does bend nice and uh, ice cold, it bends quite well. You can't strip a screw in it. You cannot break it. It does not conduct electricity, so the fastenings don't go bad in it. And it's just a fantastic replacement for oak in this situation. This plastic, I probably wouldn't use it for floor timbers or something I wanted to stay incredibly stiff, but what I'm using it for is to replace the weakest aspect of the oak in this boat, and that is the bent section of the framing around the turn of the bills. It's the first thing that failed on the whole boat, and we're replacing it with this plastic. This plastic will not fail. When the whole rest of the boat is failed completely, you'll be able to take these frames and build another boat out of them, I suspect, because they'll be in perfect condition 50, 100 years from now. So. It's quite a comprehensive framing project, and uh, I've got other framing projects going on like this. We're actually building a 43-foot Alden schooner in Bristol, Rhode Island, with plastic frames at the same time. And I've done quite a few other projects with it. It's fantastic. Uh, it's not wood. We know that, but we still love it.